are live. I am Misty Down. I'm here with my wonderful husband, Jake. Wait, wait, I got the music going. So. Uh, oh, okay. We're still having a dance party. Why not with go. this festive sweater? Hey. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Jake is here with us. He'll be uh, taking your questions and helping make sure we get all your your questions answered throughout today's project. I hope you guys had a fabulous Thanksgiving. We are recovering from a rare November blizzard here in Hamilton. First off, you guys need to notice this beautiful sweater Misty has on. Thank you. Thank you. This is the first time I've got to wear it this that, year. If you are wondering, that is tinsel. It is. So it's tinsel and some little and puff balls and there's a jingle bell. It's got all the great things. Oh, yeah, Sequins. There's some sequins. It's got it all. So, you know, I, I hope you guys enjoy a good Christmas sweater. I would love to see Oh, them. we got to do some shout outs. We have, yeah. we have, okay, let's see. We've got Kathy from California. We've got Lynn from Texas. We've got Mary from, oh, they're going too fast. Texas, Alabama. Donna from here in Missouri, Centralia. Hello from Turkey. Oh, awesome. And Elizabeth in Austria. I don't know Austria. if that's just leftovers or if that's the country. <laughs> yeah. Hello from Turkey for me, too. I have eaten a <laughs> lot of turkey leftovers. Jake made a delicious turkey. It was so good. But we are ready to move on from all that Thanksgiving festivities and, and get ready for the holidays. So we have a fun holiday project for today, right? Shelly says you could win an award with that sweater. Uh, that, I kind of agree. <laughs> I, I found it and... It makes me so happy. It's it's pretty much amazing. The, the jingle bells put that over the edge. Yeah, it's really great. I'm gonna try somehow to like make it light up. Like I feel like I could add some lights with one of those yeah, battery packs. LEDs. So that's my goal for this year. I'll All let right. you know how that Did comes. Did we reveal the project? Oh yes, this is what we're making. This cute four patch patchwork stocking. Really, really simple. Um, I think you guys are gonna like it. Also. In the comments yesterday, there was a question about which way is the correct way for the toes to be facing. So, yeah. if you guys know, I made them the facing... Toes always face to, to the, the right. right. Yeah, because the right is the right. Or is the left... I mean, <laughs> these are not reversible. You could make them reversible, but this particular stocking can only hang to the right. So, if you wanted to make it hang to the left, either way. I want to know what you guys think. Let us know in the comments which way is the correct way for the stockings to hang. All right, so today's oh, project. Wait. I mean, what? there was another question yesterday. What was it? About the bun. Oh, my, the my messy, messy bun. bun. <laughs> there was a few comments on that on Friday. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't know. I mean, I love a so good we, messy bun. Hey, we brought the messy bun. Look at how there glorious is. that is. It's a, there's a lot happening. That's it's, for sure. There's a little bit messy. It's a bun. <laughs> <laughs> so today's fabric that we're using is this greetings line by Kay England for Wilmington. It's really cute, festive kind of 30s prints, and I thought it really lended itself to this project. When Jenny did this tutorial like four years ago, it's, it was a while back, she did it with charm packs, but I wanted to show you guys some... Uh, different options. So we're going to use these two and a half inch strips today to whip up some four patches. So I have, what I did though, because I wanted this to be really scrappy, I didn't sew an entire two and a half inch strip together light to dark. I cut them in half. And so you can see I've got some remnants of those left here um, because I wanted it to be super scrappy and I wanted to have lots of different variety and lots of different prints next to one another. So that's just what I did. You can do it however you want. So I've sewn these, I just picked lights and darks, sewed them with a quarter inch seam and I've pressed them open. And now I'm going to trim these down. So it seems like the general consensus is, you can hang them either way. It depends where you're hanging them, okay. which way the toes need to go. I, I agree with that. All right, hold on here. So now that we've got- Oh, they hang pointing toes at the tree. Oh. Hang the toes towards the tree. That makes sense. There's some reason behind I that. I knew that um, there would be some great answers out there for this question, so I appreciate your insight. All right, so now these strips that we've sewn together, I'm going to go ahead and cut into two and a half inch pieces. And we're going to make some four patches here. And I'm just using this great little two and a half by eight inch ruler. Ooh, better close that. Smitten says they don't have a fireplace, so she's gently forcing her husband to make a fake mantle. A fake mantle. I think with good reason, Smitten. 
you need somewhere to put those stockings, <laughs> especially if you're going to make these cute ones today. All right, I'm going to make a couple of these four patches for you. There we go. So one more cut. And we'll just move this out of the way. And so now you can see here, you've got all these and you can just turn them whichever way you want. And we will sew these together. So I'm going to take these to the machine and we're going to whip up a couple four patches. So I guess just to recap, we're making stockings if anybody's tuning in right now that's right they are patch scrappy stockings scrappy four patch stockings scrappy four patch is it four how many pieces across is it um it is four across okay all right i just saw a comment come up that said someone made 20 of these last year that is amazing Ooh. for her whole family that is some serious sewing. I'm thinking of the mantle that that's going on. Yeah. That's a fireplace. That's like, it's like one of those giant, I always wanted one of those, like an eight foot fireplace. <laughs> I think it's a little, it's not really very pra practical. No. All right, so we've got these put together. Cute little four patches. We're just gonna press these open. Take them over here. Just roll it back, make sure we don't have any pleats or tucks in there. Nice and flat. Uh, there we go. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and sew these two together because to make our stocking body, what we're going to do is we're gonna need four across, um, so four little squares, so actually two four patches across um, by eight little squares down. So four, four patches down. Hope that makes sense. Two, four patches across four four patches down. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yep. Making sure my math is right. Math is hard. All right. So we're just so gonna... they were saying there was 16 on the, on the stair rail. Oh, that would be fun too. 16 on the stair rail. Not, a, not, not, a long not 16 on the mantle. <laughs> they ran out of room. They said. That's awesome. All right, so now we've sewn these together and I went ahead, let's press that open too. Oh, sorry for, sorry to cut you off, but, um, but not sorry. <laughs> but there's no. a question. Yeah, they're asking if there's a template for the stocking and that's the coolest thing about the stocking is. You don't need a template. There isn't. You don't need a template. I'm gonna show you, it's super, super easy. Um, so yeah, so I've already sewn six more of my four patches together here. So we're just gonna add this one to these. Just gonna lay this on here. Sew these together. Did we get a good shot of that? Oh yeah, do you need to see that again or you got good. it? You're good. Right, okay. Good. All right, so. If there's any questions, ask them for sure. Yeah, ask us any questions you have. I'm just gonna line these up. And be, you do wanna make sure that your uh, seams come together nicely, so make sure you're checking those junctions as you go. Nest those seams. And one more here. There we go. Michelle wants to borrow your sweater. Uh, I would be happy to loan it out to you as long as you give it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have the body of our stocking and it's just missing a toe. So the toe is really simple. Um, it's a four patch, but then you just don't sew one of them together. So you're gonna take a four patch and a half basically, and you're just gonna put those three little half four patches together and we're going to attach it right here at the bottom. Um, and this is where the big question is, comes in, which way is the toe pointing? Right. This is when you would decide, are you going to sew it to the right side or the left side? Since mine is already, this one's already to the right. I'm going to make this one to the right too. <laughs> but you can totally do it whichever way you want. Point it towards your tree. That's what we learned today. And so I'm just going to lay this over. I'm going to line up 
with my bottom here so that this is all matching. Make sure you guys can see this. And this, um, it's gonna feel kind of funny because you're gonna take this seam and it's just gonna kind of overlap here and you're gonna kind of run into nothing. And that's totally fine because the, this is all gonna be caught into a seam later anyway. So you don't need to worry about it. So we're just gonna lay this along the edge and we're gonna sew a straight quarter inch seam. Again, taking time to match up those seams so that all of our squares match up nicely, but super, super easy. All right. Ruth, you can remove the comments. Yeah. You swipe them, right? Uh, yes. You can swipe them off. If you you're just, on mobile, I think you If you're you on mobile. Swipe. And then I think there's like a hide button if you're on your computer. All right. Yeah, you can hide the chat. That's what it is. Thanks, Mary. Oops. Our Mary. Wait, our Mary's actually snowed in. So yeah, is Mary, she watching? I, I'm sure she's watching. Mary, I hope you're watching. You but yeah, be she's watching. snowed in. She lives out in the country and they haven't cleared her roads yet. So she can't get out of her driveway, poor thing. But that is okay. All right. Yeah, so don't hide the chat. That Smitten just said that's where the party's at. Where? The chat. The chat. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. true. The chat is is <laughs> always a party. So here is the basis. Wait a second. Joyce what? says, just put toes on both sides. <laughs> that might get good. Kind of... And you're not wrong. That's true. But you wouldn't be wrong. That's make hilarious. It patchy on both and then it could be reversible. Well, absolutely. So if you made a Michael, our cameraman in the back, just had a great point. He said, if you, you guys make... might know him as a, pair, a beautiful pair of legs. <laughs> <laughs> From the when they took over the, the show. You guys are silly. So if you made one with the toe pointing to the right and one with the toe pointing to the left, then you could sandwich them together and your stocking would then be reversible instead of solid on the back. So if you are so inclined to make a reversible stocking, you can do that as well. But now that we have all these pieces together, before we cut out the stocking shape, we actually want to quilt this. So what I did, let me show you on my stocking here, just so you can see, I hope you can see, I just, laid my presser foot right along the seam. I decided I wanted a little more quilting detail than just stitching in the ditch. So I just ran it um, the width of my the edge of my presser foot. Hey, wait, we're gonna try to get a away. better shot. Yeah, get a good that. angle of this. Up and down both directions. So it's almost like a square and a square quilting pattern. It's out of focus, there we go. Got All it? Right, here we come. There we Let go, see. see? So here's wait. my seam, I just like, put the metal part of the presser foot, the edge right along there, and then so it was that width to my needle, up and down in both directions. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll just start it for you. And so all I did was get a piece of scrap batting and my backing fabric. Let me get everything together here. So put your backing fabric down first, and then your batting. Oh, Tracy was saying maybe like on that ring, which we haven't got to the ring yet that goes around the top of something. Uh -huh. If you could embroider like a name, a name. absolutely, yeah, right? that would be so cute. All right, so then we are just going to put this on here, check and make sure I've got plenty of extra fabric all the way around since my batting is just a little bit wider than my fabric but I should have more than enough. I'm just gonna slide this over. There we go. Now I've got plenty. And I went ahead and put a few pins in, in the middle of my squares, just to hold this together while I took it to the machine. So just like so. Kathy was saying a fusible fleece would fusible be good. Fusible fleece would be good. Yeah. I actually thought of that last night, but I just had scrap batting, so this works too. Um, whatever you have would be great. And so then all I did is I started in Started in the middle going up and down. And I just, like I said, here, I'll move it over to the machine. Hopefully you guys can see here. I've got my seam. Can you see this okay? I just, I don't know if you can see it at all. Can you see yeah, it? Yeah, we can see. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move this needle out of the way, move it down, whoops. All right, so I've just got my seam line right in line with the edge of my presser foot. And then I'm just going to stay right on that line all the way oh, down. Oh, Copper was saying add um, like faux fur on the top rim. Yes, that would be so cute. 
and we did say foe. <laughs> so just watch for your pins because you don't want to sew over any of those. And I just take my time and smooth my fabric as I'm going along. And then I just come down here, pick it up, and then you might have to move your, your needle, put my presser foot down, and zip all the way down the other side going both directions. And so I actually have that done here so we don't have to spend a bunch of time quilting. But move that out of the way. So you can see here, I've got this one all quilted just like that. So I just went all the way up and down one direction and then I came back and did the same thing side to side so we get this cute square and a square pattern all the way around. And then next up, all that you need to do is we're gonna mark those curves and we're gonna cut this out. So this is why you don't need a template for this stocking, it's super easy. All you're gonna do is make an arc on these outside corners here. And I used a bowl, but if you have... Right here. Oh, perfect. Let's Coming see if I in. Can catch. Coming in hot, <laughs> there we go. So all, all I did is just use something round and I just took my pin, because all of this is gonna be enclosed in the seam, so it's just a normal marking pin and I just used that to mark my curves on this bottom corner, this bottom corner, and this top corner. And all you wanna do is just make sure that you're just getting that outside little curve. That's all you have to do. So I'll just set it aside. I'm not gonna throw it no, again. No. So Mary said, can you flip it over so we can see oh, the back, the quilting? Yeah. Oh, great. Here's, here's the back. I mean, oh, I do not geez. claim to be a quilting professional, so. I have much to learn, but it was easy and I'm pretty proud of it. I think it looks great. So hopefully you so guys the, can see And that. the quilting's not gonna show on the back because you're gonna encase Exactly, it. this is gonna be inside of your, your stocking. So nobody's gonna see this and the quilt police aren't gonna look inside your stocking and be like, man, that's a little rough. No one's gonna do that. <laughs> so now that we have the quilting done and we've marked our curves, the next thing we wanna do is cut this out. So where are my scissors? They have wandered off. I guess I can use a rotary cutter. There they are. Thank you. Thank you, Rob Appel. All right. <laughs> All right. So I just like to cut it uh, with scissors. You can totally use a rotary cutter. But for me, I, I don't know. I just do. Seems right. So we're just going to cut right along the edge. And right on that curve that we marked. What cutting mat is that? This cutting mat is the Christopher Thompson uh, for Riley Blake Designs. It's his signature mat. It's black on one side, white on the other. So it's reversible. And it is 24 by 36. And we do carry that at Missouri Star. And they're wondering about the pattern behind you. And the quilt behind me is the Missouri Star quilt. Jenny has a great tutorial for that. And we also have a pattern. Yeah. Somebody's like, hey, the scissors are in the cup behind the machine. Those are pinking. Linda, thank you. Thank you, Linda. Those are pinking shears, which I could have used. We need to put a, why not put a pair of scissors in there? Well, they're usually there. That's why I said they walked oh, off. Okay. Yeah. That's where they belong. All right. So there we go. Oops, I got one little thread there dangling. Now it looks much more like a stocking, a little less square. Um, and so what we're going to do uh, now is take another piece of that background fabric, just like we used for quilting. And I just, whoops, that's the wrong piece. Grab this right here. And so if you had a right side, you would wanna make sure that you put this uh, right sides together. So right side up, and then you would put it with the right side of your stocking. So somebody mentioned a nice old uh, AOL CD. Oh, would work. To... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you guys old remember disc. those internet CDs? That, that would they be would funny. What was that like, Netscape or something? I don't remember. I have no idea. Oh, there's so many. I don't know. So I just cut. Um, I didn't try to cut out the shape of my stocking before I stitched it together. I just cut a background square. It's way easier this way. So, so I just rough cut bigger than my stocking and then like I said I'm going to lay those right sides together and so we're just going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to sew all the way around not this top though you don't want to sew your top clothes otherwise you can't put treats in your stocking and that would be a problem okay 
I mean, speaking of stockings, are I want I'm wondering if you guys are like sending your husbands really like intense hints on what to buy them for Christmas. Cause I feel like Missy's been extra. I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> buy this for me. This is my Christmas present. You're silly. That seems specific. Oop. Oh, I thought there we go. No, it's just a thread. Thought maybe I lost my bobbin there. Now, you could definitely pin this together. I did it home, I got excited. So in fact, I'm gonna take a minute before this gets too wonky and put a few pins in this to hold these layers together. Because we don't want it to shift. We want I it to always I sometimes forget smooth. that you can't see the chat, Misty. It's, this is a fun, this has been a fun day. Everybody's like, yeah, we got a lot of good engagement. Good. Here. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. All right, so now that I've got my my layers all together before I got too out of control. We're just gonna ease around this curve. Yeah, everyone said bold hints are good for gifts. Which I agree. I can't hear you. She was saying like bold hints are good. Oh yeah. For, for gifts. I mean, it's not like buy me all these things. It's like, if you're looking for ideas, here's ideas. That's no, all. I've, Smitten, you're more in the range. Smitten's saying, I've been hinting I want a new car for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this is more where Misty's, I'm like, is this serious? Are you I did real? not send you a car. You are silly. But I would take one if, I mean, if someone was offering. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right, so I've made this little curve here. I'm on the home stretch. Reminded me of that song, you know, Santa Baby. <laughs> Slip a yacht. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the words, but you guys know the words, what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. So now we've made it all the way around. And we're just going to trim this off again. All right. Take my pins out. Right. Yeah, I, I would take a list, but I want to surprise her. I don't know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to buy all the things. Yeah, but you if just you pick think of all the, the ideas list. before I come up with them. I, actually, a list is, you know, a list is nice. <laughs> I don't know why you're worried about it anyway. Jake is a fabulous gift giver. I'm very lucky. So. Missouri Star gift cards, yep. There we go. Every time. Easy. Take the thought out of it. All right, so we're just trimming right along the Not edge. The <laughs> that was the wrong thing to say. <laughs> a classic Oops. car. Misty's. My tell grand him. Tell My him grandpa car. has the most beautiful Mustang. It's a convertible, it's baby blue. I've loved it my whole life. Someday. Someday. I, rem I remember when we were first like dating, you know, we were engaged, and we went over there, and uh, her grandma was like, was like, hey, if you want to take it for a drive. <laughs> and he couldn't believe it. He's and like, I was really? Like, no, no, you can't <laughs> let me drive this car. But you did. It was fun. It was amazing. Yeah, it was really cool. It is beautiful. All right. We're almost all trimmed up here. Okay, Joyce is giving me some hints. The first few items are the ones you really are thinking. <laughs> and then as the list goes down, those are fillers. Those are, okay. So you're okay. telling me she didn't really want... That pair of socks that I got her last year. <laughs> You're silly. And those baking pans that were down there towards the bottom. He's silly. So now that we've attached the back of our stocking, we're going to turn it right side out and we're going to, you know, get it all smooth and we're going to give it a good press. And then we'll move on to the cuff. And also, one thing that Jenny didn't do in her tutorial, but that I have, is we're going to add a hanger to our stocking which is super fun and easy. All right, so I've got that turned. Now I'm gonna take it over here and give it a press. You kinda of just have to roll those seams. Since the front is quilted and the back isn't, those seams tend to be a little bit bulkier, so you just kinda of work with it. It's not a big deal. <laughs> this chat is too funny, sorry. <laughs> 
You're good. Let's get back to the project. Come on, guys. We are on Focus it. Focus up. You know what? They're having a great, great time getting ready for the holidays. So let them, let them have fun. All right. So there we go. We've pressed our, our little stocking. We have the front and the back all together. So now we're going to add this little hanger and the cuff. And so what we're going to need for that is, let's start with... Wait, wait. I had one question. Okay. They're talking about the seam allowance. Oh, I just used probably... A quarter not, inch, huh? Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than a quarter inch. Not quite a half, but... Five our, yeah, probably not five eighths, maybe three eighths. Three eighths. Yeah. Yeah. So just um, somewhere between a quarter and a half. I just kind of eyeballed what looked right with that extra bulk. And so then now for the cuff, since we didn't take an exact seam allowance, what you're going to want to do is you're going to measure how wide your stocking is now. And mine comes out to seven and a half. And so let's just go ahead and plan on taking a half inch seam allowance. We'll, we'll round that up to eight. And so what we're going to do for the cup is we're going to need a piece that is eight inches tall by double the, the width that we've added. So we remember seven and a half plus a half inch seam allowance, eight times two, 16. So we cut a piece eight by 16. <laughs> Does that, that make sense? That was like... Is that too much? I you mean, that was like... It was, didn't seem like it, it was perfect. All right. It was it, magical. It is magical. So... We might need to say it one more time. All right, measure, measure the width of your stocking. If you decide to make it, you know, another row wider, you, you want extra room in there or something, just measure how wide it turns out once you've got it all turned out. And like I said, this one comes out to seven and a half. And so I'm going to add a half inch, make that eight. And we're gonna double it and that's gonna be our width. So our width of fabric that we need to cut is 16 inches and the height is eight inches. And that's gonna give us this little fold down piece that you see here. So what we're going to do first... They were also asking about the corners, about clipping the corners. Inside? You could, yeah. You could. I didn't really need to. Um, like maybe right in here in this corner. You, if you give it a good press. Yeah, though, I, I just pressed it really good and it, it went where I wanted, to, wanted it to go. All right. So let me move some of this out of the way so you can see... If you were going to cut, if you would trim it, it would be, it would be fine too. Yeah, absolutely. So now from our eight by 16, eight by 16 inch piece, we're going to press that in half longwise like this. Get a good crease there. And then we're going to go ahead and open it back up and we're going to sew it straight across the end. And remember, you've given yourself ample seam allowance, so you can use a half inch seam here. So that's what I'm oh, gonna Ju do. Judy was saying if you cut that inside edge with those pinking shears, that would do a good work for it. That's true, absolutely. Those scissors that weren't scissors. The scissors that weren't scissors. I could have used them for something good. All right, so let's see. Line this up. I am going to back stitch a little bit here. It really shouldn't matter because we're going to fold this back together um, and you're not going to see it, but I just want it to be nice and secure. There we go. And then now we're going to fold this right back on that fold that we put in there before. It just goes right where you need it, and then your seam is enclosed on both the inside and the outside, so you don't have to worry about that. So now we have that part done, and now we're going to make this little loop, and we're going to attach all of these to the stocking at the same time. So for the loop, what you're going to do is you're going to cut a piece of your background fabric that is three inches by seven inches, and then we're going to press that in half. <laughs> and press it in and then fold it all together just like that and so I went ahead and did that just to save us time and I just stitched on either side oh your nary's on just to hold it together and so you can see that gives Misty. us yes your nary's on your nary's on hi she says, she says you're inspiring her to get out her yes get out your sewing machine and make some stockings it's so fun 
So we've got our little loop here. We are going to put it in first. And so what I like to do, I want to make sure you guys can see it. I, you, you stick the loop part down. I know this seems kind of backwards, but you're going to stick it down inside. And I line it up just along this back, the side of the backing. I don't want it on the seam because that's already bulky enough. So I put it just on the other side of the seam. And then we're going to take our cuff and we're going to, you Your know what I'm going to... is in the way, Misty. My bun? Oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me, let me hold my hair back. All right, so let me see if you guys can see this again. Can you see it now? Yes. All right, perfect. So see, I've got my, my ends together. I'm just going to put it... Here's my seam on my stocking. I don't want it right on that seam. I'm just going to tuck it kind of right here on the side of the backing. And you can put a pin in there to hold that in place. Just make sure it's down enough that you're not going to stitch over it because you're also putting you're also putting your cuff inside here in just a second. So I'm going to pin that down out of the way. There we go. Those will stay right there. And so then our cuff, I'm going to press this just a smidge because I want to make sure that these seams are as flat as can be because like I said, we're dealing with a little bit of bulk here. So I've, I've got my cuff and this is raw sides up and we're going to slide it inside the stocking. Copper, you better watch it because I got in trouble last week for that comment. All right. Oops. She can't see the chat, but they're having a lot of fun over here. That's good. All right. So we're going to take our seam. <laughs> I'm not picking on your bun. That's for sure. <laughs> we're going to take our seam and we're going to line it up so that all um, that seam that we put in our cuff is on this this side or back side of our our stocking and i'm going to put another pin in there just so that stays where i want it again i'm going to kind of put it down here out of the way so that i don't have to worry about my needle getting it and then we're just going to work and we're going to have this lay flat inside here and line up our top edges let me see here I might have. Yeah, Joyce is trying to add fuel to the fire. I might have to. <laughs> just a second. This ended up, I didn't take a wide enough yeah. seam. I'm going to have to hold on. Sorry, sorry. I'm distracted hold on. by this chat. You're What's distracted by here? the chat. We're making a stocking here, Jacob Doan. Folding it in half. Well, it got, it got. I must, I didn't double check my cutting that I did last night and I think it was too long. Okay, I was supposed to trim, trim it, it down. Let's trim it down. So let me, oh yeah, it was way too long. That explains my issue. Okay. We were going to cut it down on, on camera. <laughs> we were going to cut it down on camera and I forgot. All right. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is supposed to be trimmed and I thought I had already done it. That is my mistake. All right. So we're going to cut this now to the correct width. So this will all work. Make sure it's lined up. So the measurement up. of the stocking plus... Measurement of the stocking plus your half inch, and then you trim it. Sorry about that, guys. I told you like 10 times, and then I didn't double check my math. There we go. All right, so now it's the right width. Now we're going to sew it, and then it's going to fit right in there. Okay. There we go. Christina, the chat is good. It's great today. Prime, Thank especially you. today. Facebook doesn't seem like it. some. Hey, I seen I seen some people come into my rescue on Facebook. That's good. Debbie, right. come on! I'm not trying to be annoying. I'm answering your questions. You guys have any questions? All right, here we go. I came unthreaded. Candace, I'm way too loud of a loud mouth to be quiet. Okay. <laughs> Are they harping on you, Jake? Facebook is getting pretty intense. That's funny. Be nice, everybody. Let's have a little holiday cheer. All right. They just want they want the project. They don't want to hear me. Well, I'm threading a needle, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. Fixed it. Crisis averted. So now we're going to... Again, take that half inch seam allowance. Now that I've got this trimmed to the correct size.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Sorry about that. We're going over time. That's all right. We're almost done. People are like, hey, lunch is over. <laughs> you can always come back and watch us on the replay. All right. So there we go. Now we have the correct size cuff. Sorry about that. I thought I had it all ready to go. So we're going to slide this inside. We're going to line up our seam here on the side or the back of our stocking towards the heel. And we're going to slip that down inside with the raw edges up. There we go. Now we're laying much nicer this time. So the measurement is the size plus a half an inch. Plus a half inch. Exactly. And you are dealing with a couple layers of fabric since we made our cuff so that it's the seam is concealed on the top and the bottom. So just take your time and really line this up. I'm going to pin it so that my side stays where I want it. And then we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to go all the way around. You can see it all just slides in there nicely. I've got my loops in there. I've got my, my cuff and we're going to stitch across the top all the way around. And so you might need to slide uh, this off of your machine so that you can get in here and, and work easier. And I don't want to start right on that bulk since it's going to be a little bit of work for my machine to get over all of those layers on the corner. So I'm just going to start back a little ways here. And I am going to back stitch. And I'm just going to take my time. Come into all these thick parts here. So nice and slow and steady over that. And I'm just feeling with my fingers in here as I go to make sure things are staying lined up where I want them. We don't have things shifting too much. Pedal to the metal, Misty. <laughs> All right, we're almost to the end. And again. Best thing about this, it really is a quick, easy project, but they they really have that homemade Yeah, vibe, handmade you know, like... vibe. It's so cute. All right, so there we go. We've stitched all the way around. It's all secure. And now all you have to do is flip it out. And then you don't have any, any bulk up at the top. You've got this cute little hanger to hang it on your, Bada boom. your mantle. You can just press that down and it is done. So easy. Cute. I love it. All right. So, Joyce says it's pretty. It's beautiful. Thank you, Joyce. I appreciate it. I hope you guys try this yourselves. They're super quick and easy. A really fun afternoon project, especially if you're snowed in like I was yesterday. So I got to whip uh, this up yesterday at home with my kiddos running around. It was really fun. So thank you, guys. We have some other fun holiday projects coming your way that you can work on. Uh, before Christmas is here and we appreciate you guys being here every week. We will be back next Tuesday uh, Thank you so much. Yeah, this was such a fun day. Dude. We have so I much fun doing this and we appreciate Yeah, we appreciate great. you. So thank you. Have a good day. All right